What's going on fellow stacker collectors, Silverwolves here inside the work den. So this video I'm going to share with you my six favorite tools that I use at home for mostly all my little repairs and hanging pictures and so forth. Uh, want to test my camera out. I got a new phone upgraded. So this is going to be a test for my future video, Please Hang Tight, which is going to be the new um, Malta Bullion Coin, the newest uh, major online bullion coin there out in the market. So can't wait to share that and see what type of uh, good detail quality we could get when they come in April 7th pre-ordered. Uh, anyway, I want to get to the tools and start off with my favorite and most people start off with the least favorite and then they work their way to the best. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to start off with my number one favorite tool. And that is the uh, magnetic stud finder. It's, um, let's see, very powerful magnet. Um, use this to find nails behind sheetrock. So it's very handy for w when you hang up pictures or want to cut in wall plates, which I use this particular tool, a template for a wall plate. Just trace it in and take the, uh, uh, what you call it, saw, the drywall saw, cut yourself a nice little hole and put the wall plate in. Run wires if you want to hang TVs and so forth. This is perfect for that. Better than um, electronic. You save a little money and it works perfect. Uh, second favorite tool is this handheld Makita drill. You could, It has multi-functions. We're going to slap the battery in here. You lock it up. And it has a different uh, a number of utilities you could plug in. I like to use the uh, extension. And here at the end, you have your uh, drill bits. You just slide that in. I always found it easier using this extension when I'm drilling into the walls and so forth. Um, comes with uh, a battery indicator, which is pretty cool. has a little light. These batteries are expensive. One has gone bad on me. Uh, owned this thing for about 10, 15 years now. And they're, uh, they're quite durable. And they do last a while when you're using a drill. But when we use the hacksaw, which we're going to look at next, it does use a lot of juice. So you got about an hour's worth of light hacksawing with this one. Again, it has the indicator. The best thing about these two particular tools is they could get you in really tight spots. Like if you have a crawl space, you're in a basement and attic and you need to just cut something, a two by four, whatever. And also this comes in handy in your backyard where you get those little saplings that are starting to grow up in areas. You don't want them. You cut them down. You could cut some branches down here and there on a tree. You put a ladder up. So um, I'm going to show you. Uh, it comes with an assortment of blades. You can see them back here. I'm going to stick this in. What you do is, is um, you turn it right here. There's a little, oh, sorry about that. Got the camera between my arms. Lock it in place and let it go. So yeah, Mikita, they're um, highly recommended. If you're looking for little DIY tools around the home, that'll help you get the job done. And here's the big brother of the little handheld screw gun. This um, has a obviously has way more power than the little handheld screw. Uh, this you could use as a hammer drill if you need to go into concrete or brick or any type of uh, stone. This is where that comes in handy. You just switch it over to hammer drill. And my, uh, what the, I can't, I don't know what, where in the list I would put this, but this is totally an awesome little light. It has a magnetic on the bottom. Put this on the fridge during a blackout. Uh, use this in the bathroom. You stand it up. Put it, if you have a flat tire, you stick it to the side of the car, you know, at night. And just, um, it's pretty bright, this portion of it. I got this like at a dollar store, Dollar General. Uh, can't remember exactly which one, but I'm sure you could find them possibly at Walmart. Or, it, it was pretty cheap, man. And definitely comes in handy when the power's out and all that. Yeah, I just didn't go on and on. Uh, let's see, are we on my bonuses yet? Um, bonus tools. 
tape measure, but not just any tape measure, one with fractions. It's always good to have uh, work with fractions if you want to be precise. And this is my bonus. This is the yeah, bonus tool I wanted to show you about. Uh, those who are uh, metal detectors know exactly what this is. It's um, a pinpointer. You turn this on. And if you lose a screw in the yard, uh, these, th these little things help you find it instead of searching for the next 20 minutes of your life and wasting a lot of time. So yeah, it, t it detects all types of metals. Um, there's probably so much going on here, so I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah, I, I've been building a lot of garden beds and I've lost quite a few screws out there and this has saved me a lot of time. Well, I hope you guys liked this little uh, little tool reveal of mine. Um, thought I'd be a little unique and test test out the Let's see, test out the quality, the detail, and see how it uploads onto YouTube. Thank you for stopping by, fellas. Silverwolves out.